18 North Korean servicemen who attempted to escape from the positions of Russian occupation forces in the Kursk region were detained by Russians in the Komarishsky district of the Bryansk region. Yunayan was informed of this by sources in the main intelligence directorate. It is noted that about 40 military instructors from North Korea, together with 50 Russian occupiers, were in positions in the forest in the Kolyakek area of the Komotovsky district of the Kursk region. It has been established that the North Koreans were training servicemen of the Russian armed forces in the use of balloons for military purposes. In exchange, servicemen of the Russian armed forces trained representatives of North Korea in modern infantry combat using the experience of the so-called SVO. After completing the training course, the North Korean servicemen were left in a forest in the Kolyachek area of the Komotovsky district for several days without food and without instructions regarding further plans and intentions. On October the 14th, some of the North Koreans decided to voluntarily leave their positions in order to search for the command of the Russian armed forces, intelligence sources said. Two days later, on October the 16th, the missing servicemen were found and detained by Russian occupiers. The distance from the escape site was about 60 kilometers. According to the agency's source, all 40 North Korean servicemen who were in positions in the Komotovsk district have now been moved to the Logovsky district of the Kursk region for further involvement in assault operations in the Kursk region. Russian insider project VCHK OGPU, with reference to its own sources in military circles, say that all North Korean servicemen may be sent to the front in the Kursk region. Wood for dugouts and trenches is already being prepared for them. It is noted that in the Kursk region, the Russians have been cutting down trees for a week so that the Koreans would receive materials for equipping positions. North Korean servicemen may be sent to the Kursk region. According to sources, Russian armed forces soldiers have been cutting down trees in this area for a week now for the arrival of guests. The wood is allegedly being harvested so that the new arrivals can independently equip their own positions and dugouts. The project notes, according to Ivan Kamachko, Chairman of the Council of Reservists of the Ground Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, military personnel from North Korea are already participating in the Russian war against Ukraine. It is expected that the Russian Federation will send military personnel from North Korea to the battlefield in the Kursk region. Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Emirati counterpart Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan held official talks in the Kremlin on Monday. The trade turnover between Russia and UAE declined in 2024, Putin said in his opening remarks. Despite the threefold growth of trade turnover over the last three years, we have nevertheless observed some downward correction over the last seven months. We agreed that our colleagues would work on these issues separately, the Russian president added. Speaking about involvement in the exchange of prisoners of war between Russia and Ukraine, Al Nayan said the UAE is always ready for any additional effort in this regard and any effort to help resolve crises in a way that serves the interests of all parties and supports peace in the world. The two leaders met at an informal dinner on Sunday evening where they discussed the situation in the Middle East and Ukraine. Al Nayan will also take part in the BRICS summit in Kazan this week. Мы имели вчера удовольствие встретиться с господином президентом в неформальной обстановке, поговорить о всех чувствительных моментах нашего сотрудничества, обратить внимание на те вопросы, которые требуют особого внимания с нашей стороны, поскольку, несмотря на трехкратный Рост за последние три года товарооборота все-таки на в течение в течение последних семи месяцев мы наблюдаем некоторую коррекцию в сторону снижения. Договорились о том, что наши коллеги поработают над этими вопросами отдельно. И сегодня у нас такая возможность есть. Нашему уважаемому гостю для тоже вступительных слов, а затем. أنتز هذه الفرصة لأشكركم على تسهيل مهمة وساطة الإمارات 
قبل أيام لتبادل الأسرة بين روسيا وأوكرانيا وهذه هي الوساطة التاسعة منذ بداية العام الجاري وأنا أعتز بالعمل معكم في هذا الجانب الإنساني للإمارات مستعدة دائما لأي جهد إضافي في هذا الشأن وأي جهد للمساعدة في تسوية الأزمات بما يصب في مصلحة جميع الأطراف ويدعم السلام في العالم مساهمة كبيرة في تحقيق ذا إعلان الشراكة الاستراتيجية بين بلدينا عام 2018 شهدت هذه العلاقات تطورا نوعيا خاصة في مجالات الاقتصاد والتجارة والطاقة وغيرها ففي عام 2018 كان حجم التبادل التجاري غير النفطي مثل ما ذكرت البارح 2.5 مليار دولار لكن هذا الرقم وصل العام الماضي إلى أكثر من 11 مليار دولار مهمة لتعزيز العلاقات الاقتصادية مع روسيا